Okay, we're learning Lilu Nishmas, Avram, Yaakov, Yitzchok, and Zchai Aryeh, and Akeno Kol Beis Yisrael, and Rafu Shleim, and for Baruch Yitzchak Elimelech, Ben, Nechama, Neshama should have an Aliyah. Okay, we're going to Daf Peches, up to Daf Peches, and we are... Oh, a few lines down. He said, All five things. If you hit an Ebed Kanani with someone else, you chayv in all five things. And Rabbi Yehuda said that Ebed ain't like Boishas. An Ebed does not have Boishas. By, by an Ebed, you don't have Boishas. The, the interesting Daf Gemara, there's no Boishas by an Ebed. Okay, says the Gemara. My time with Rabbi Yehuda, why is there no Boishas by an Ebed? So the Pasuk says the following. Two people are fighting. Ish ve'achiv, keyword being achiv, a man and his brother. The kar and one of the women comes close to go ahead and saving her husband. Miad my kehu, v'shilcha yada, and she sends out her hand. V'achvisa mevushav, and she grabs onto him. So this is the pasuk of this is the pasuk that deals with with uh, Busha. The fact that she goes ahead and she embarrasses him by holding him in, a, in, a, in an inappropriate spot is embarrassment. It said, Ki Natsu. So again, we want to know the question. Like Rabbi Yehuda, there is no Busha by an Evet. Why is that? And we, we're going to say five lines down on, on Peiches Samen Aleph. Ki Natsu mi Natsu mi Achtav Ishva Achiv B'mishi Yesh Lai Achva Says the word Achiv, it means B'mishi Yesh Lai Achva what is Achva? Says Rashi. Right? Yatsa Evet Shenli Achva, second line down, in Yisrael. Shein Bem Bekal. They can't marry a Jew. Achva, there's no Achva there. They can't marry a Jew. So, and the Mela, since it says the word Achiv, Achva, that ki not so anoshim yachtav ishve Achiv, so there's no Achiv there. The Mela, there's no Busha either. In other words, in order to fulfill the Parsha of Busha, you have to be Achiv. In order to fill the fill the parsha bush, it has to be achiv, and 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 it's not achiv. Now, the rabbanon will say there is there is the parsha of 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 Baishas by a there is a parsha of Baishas by a uh, an eved. Rabbanon achiv who be mitzvus. Good, he is not your brother. You can't marry him, but he's your brother in mitzvus. An eved kanani is mechuyiv mitzvus keisha. An eved kanani is mechuyiv mitzvus keisha. So since you have that common bond of of, of your brother in mitzvah. He's considered achiv oh, imemela. There would be a din of busha by uh, if you if you're mavayish an evet is mavayish you or you mavayish if you're mavayish an evet. Not evet, only if you're mavayish an evet. Elamiyato Rabbi Yehuda. So now we're going to extend this achiv, oh, fellas, to other other venues, right? We're going to extend this achiv oh, to other venues. Now, what does the pasuk say by Adam Zoyimim? Vasisalei kasha zamam. You should do to them like they planned. Last place la achiv. Memela, this should not be a parsha of Edim Zaymimim by an Evet. If that's the case, so says the Gemara, let's say two people come and they say that this Evet killed. And two people come and say, Imanu Yusim, you were on that, that day that you said the Evet would kill, you were with us. The day that you said the Evet killed, you were with us, correct? So do they get killed? The answer is yes, but they shouldn't. Why? Because it doesn't fit the formula. If Evet's not an Achiv, they should not be in the parish of Edom Zaymimim. That, in other words, you should not get killed if you made it on an Evet. Now, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Look at, look at let's see the Taisris. Second Taisris down. The Kivin, the Haim Lo Yarogu, since they don't get killed, Gama Evet Lo Yarogu. You know why? Mm-hmm. We, we spoke out. In order to go ahead and be an aid, you have to have the capacity to have to fulfill Kasha Zama, right? You need that, that fear factor, correct? We spoke about, we believe them, and, and you need that fear factor. So there, the, the, you know, in this kind of aid, this won't be all. So if, in that case, you, you won't be aid at all, and the Evan won't get killed either. And there's no swear to say that. So the Mela, Red the Gemara, like Rabbi Yehuda, who says that in order to be in the Parsha of Boishas, you have to be an Akiv. So in order to be in the Pasha of Edom, so I mean, also you need Achiv. So they should be in that Pasha, and we know they are. And for Gemara, it's different, right? 
There it's different. Amarava, Amarav Sheshis, Amakra, the Pasik finishes off, will be Arta Hara Mikebecha. And go ahead and be Arta Ra Mikebecha, Mikamakam. In other words, fellas, when you have raw among you, get rid of it. There's no Mikamakam. Even if it's not your brother, even if it's not your bracha, brother, get rid of it. Elameata. Now, you're telling me that the guys, why did the Chacham say, guys, since your brother the mitzvah, they, an Evet is in the parsha of what? Of of Baishes. Since he's a, your brother in mitzvah, he is in the parsha of Baishes. El Meyat, if that's the case, Lirabonon, Evet Yiyeh Koshel Malchus. Now, what does the Pasuk say, say by Melech, guys? Slim Tosim Alecha Melech. Place upon yourself a melech. Ashayifcha Hashem lokecha boy, mikerev achecha tosim alecha. From amongst your brothers, you should go ahead and place on you. So you're telling me he's your brother b'mitzvus. You should be able therefore to make an evid into a king, since you chachamim hold akiv b'boishes. So therefore, akiv is all encompassing. So even in the parashat of melech, he should not be right. Fred the Gemara. If that's the case, why are you limiting your question to an Eved? What, can a Ger become the king? No, Ger can't become a king. So why are you limiting your Kasha to Eved? Be more comprehensive, right? Ella, why do you have to say, Omakra, The Pasuk doesn't say only your brother. It says, From the best, what? The best of your brothers, right? The best of your brothers. You care about I, I I sent out a quick a quickie, guys. A real quickie. Go take a look. It's 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 it's, it's uh there is a there is a uh, um a legend that the Balaturim wrote his parish in one night. There's a, a legend that the Balaturim wrote his parish in one night. So Mikerevachecha, thank you, Art Scroll. I use their 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 uh What's Keravachecha, guys? What does the Balaturim say? Keravachecha, the Gematria, may shave it Yehuda. The king has to be from Yehuda. I mean, it's not, guys, it's unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable. Keravachecha, may shave it Yehuda. It's the same Gematria. The king can only be Keravachecha, can only be from you. I think he loves it. Right? It can only be, it, it can it can only be from Yehuda. So I okay, that's the quickest share we'll have in the history of the share. S H A R, right? Even Penny likes it. Penny's got the little face on. Okay, like Hollywood Squares tonight. He got an even number. I hate to tell you that uh, Doctor Pen, Doctor Press is in the Charles Nelson <laughs> Harley box. Okay, anyway, so. So even though he's your brother, guys, even though even though he's your brother, right? He's not mikeravachecha. You know, you need You need you need the the choice. Elameata lirabonon. Again, we just just like again one more time. The chacham say as long as he's your brother in mitzvah, he's considered your brother. Let's extend that to the Allah of Ad Eved Kashal Edus Ichsiv Vihine Eid Shekel Hayed Shekel Ane Ba'achiv. Right, you see, on a So the chayav, he's your brother. He should be your brother in mitzvahs. If he, if he, excuse me, if he, since he's your brother in mitzvahs, he should be a kashra aid. He, he should be, he should be a kashra aid, right? And and we know he's not. Amaula, and this is going to be the rest of the daf. Amaula loy matzas amit. You can't possibly say that he can be a kashra aid. In other words. Even if you're going to say he's a chicha, he limut to teach me he's not a kashra aid. Even guys, even if you have a pasuk to tell me that that a chicha you and, and you want to say a chicha we have a kal b'chayma telling me he's not. What? Asya edis mikal b'chayma that the puzzle the puzzle a neved for edis mikal b'chayma meisha uma isha. She rule your love by right? A woman can marry into Kal Hashem, Jewish woman, no problem. Nonetheless, pasul leedis, eved she ain't a rule your love by an eved that's not ready to come into the Kal Hashem, ain't a din. Is it not a kal v'chaim? Is she pasul leedis? So, in other words, without forgetting achicha, loy matzas amit. There's no svara to say that what that it should be kashul leedis. 
Madachi she she's mutal to cover the callus. It's pasul edis. Evan, which is also to cover the callus, ain't a din. She's pasul edis. What will you say? Mala isha she can't ain't a ruoyel amila. She's not in the ballpark of mila. Chayma beevet shu royel amila. So maybe that's the reason she's not in the ballpark of edis. Mashein came the the evet is cotton yachiach. A cotton is in the ballpark of mida of mila, and he's out of the ballpark of of edis. Sheyeshna be mila pasul edis. I will say mala cotton sheyna be mitzvus. Chayma beevet shu be mitzvus. Isha teichiach sheyeshna be mitzvus pasul edis. The chazer adin. In other words, we'll go back and forth between isha and cotton, and we'll learn out between the two of them. We'll learn out what that an evet is pasul edis. The fact is that each have with each other. This one has mila. This one has mitzvahs. They're not in all the mitzvahs, right? Upsula leheid. Afan yevet as eved. I'll include the eved sheina bechala mitzvahs. Pasul edit. So, in order to your answer to your question, where it says the word vehine eight sheka hoyet sheka ono veochiv, it says ochiv in the parsha of edis. And you're telling me the Chachamim say that an Eved is considered Achiv, so he should be Kashal Eidis. You have no, that you're not going to do it. We have a Kalachoyme between from Isha and Cotton to go ahead and be might see an Eved from Eidis. Says the Gemara Malat Sarashave, and I got a question on your Kalachoyme. But you, you have, you're learning out Eved from Isha and Cotton. Malat Sarashave, Shabem Shakain, Eina Ish. Guess what? They're not a man. The guys, you know what it says in the parsha of Edus? It says, "Va'omdu shnei anoshim l'fnei alehim." The two anoshim, the two Edim, will stand in front of the dying. So the loshin used for what for for Edus is the word men ish mela good be, good. This is b'mitzvus. This is b'mila, and 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 if it's not, but bottom line is the bottom line is is he's still a man, and they're not. So maybe even though they don't have. Even though from that commonality they're the same, but he has something they don't have, as I mentioned. So maybe he is kashal edis. Good. So therefore, you, you don't have a kavrayna. Let's learn out eved from gaslin. We we'll say, can it, can a, can an eved marry in the kahal? No. Is he possible? Yes. Madoch a gaslin who can marry in the kahal is possible edis an eved that can't marry in the kahal. And you know, we'll start off the same way as we started with isha. Just like a gaslin is, is what can marry in the kalashem, but it's pasul edis an eved that can't marry in the kalashem ain't no din is pasul edis. That's the way we're going to start off. And that why are you going to ask then? Malu gaslin shekain myself garmeloi time of eved shekain myself garmeloi. Why is the gaslin out of the parsha? It is his actions. In other words, he was in the parsha. What about an eved? No, he's just an eved, right? So in other words, this is far to say why he's pasul edis. He caused himself. But the eved didn't do anything wrong. Maybe he's kashul edis. So you can't learn out of gaslin. So what do you, what's going on to say? Okay, so learn Gazlin or, or cotton, and learn Gazlin or, or, or Isha. Okay. So what do you, what do you say? He, 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 didn't, he didn't do anything. He was born. No, he's, that's an Ebed Ivri. I'm sorry, Ebed Ivri. We're speaking about Ebed Kanani. Yeah, yeah. Ebed Ivri is a Jew. He's a Jew. This is Ebed Kanani. Good. Okay, so the, so the Chari have a, a limud from Goslin and either Ish, uh, Isha or Cotton to go ahead right and, and include an Ebed. So there's no Svara of that it should be a Kostal Edis. Now, they have an other source, right? Mar, mar Bered Ravina Amar, here's where you know that an Ebed Ibi is Pasal Edis. Amar Kra, the Pasik says, Lo Yamusu Abais Albanim. Literally, Avais will not die on, on, on their sons, Ubadam Lo Yamusu al Avais, right? And a son will not die for the Khatmaim of the father. Ish Bicheta Yumsu, Ish in his chet Yumas, they'll die. And you know, you don't die for somebody else, you die for yourself. Now, this is this Pasik we're gonna dash in very, very interesting. We're gonna dash in this Pasik very interesting, okay? What's the drasha? Okay, so we have Mar Marbury Ravashi. Okay, Marbury Ravina. Am Akra, Lo Yumsu Oves Albanim, Lo Yumsu Alpi Oves 
she'en lehem chies banim. You can't die through the testimony of a father that has no sons. Guys, listen, you can't die. Here's where we're going to dash. Look at the, the Pasuk. La yumsu avos al banim. You won't die by the testimony of a father who has no sons. What does that mean? It doesn't mean a Jew who doesn't have any children can be an aide. Of course not. It means a person who halachically has no sons. An Eved has no chios. His son is not considered his son. Zera suma, zera, zera sum suma, uh, zera chamor, zero. Well, um, what's the pasik? Uh, zera chamor, zero, I, I always forget this pasik. Basically, the zera of a, of a, of a, oh, I got the pasik now. Vizermas susim zermasam, the pasik says. Vizeras, vizeras susim zermasam. In other words, they compare to, a donkey or doesn't have any any yichus. So therefore, here's the way you're gonna dash it. Lo yumsu al pi of shame la banim. You won't die through the testimony of a father who has no sons, right? And which is a vodim. Lo yumsu of sal banim. If it means literally that what that the testimony of a of a father can't be on a son, the aidis banim that he can't testify against the son, lichta frachmana lo yumsu of sal banehem. Right, the son, the a father, uh, uh, the father will not testify against their children. My bonim stam shmami no lo yumsu al al pi avay shein lem chiyas bonim. So therefore, it's a straightforward pasuk that an eved is what is pasul edus lo yumsu avus al bonim lo yumsu of a child of, of right a person who's an av bonim who has no bonim because he has no chiyas can't be an aid. Now the the latter part of the pasuk says what. The latter part of the pasuk says, "Lo yumsu avos al banim ish bechet." It says, "It says vice versa." It says, "Lo yumsu al avos ish lo yumsu avos al banim," and then it says, "Lo banim lo yumsu al avos." So then, what you're going to dash him at? Someone who's who is a, a son, he has sons, but he doesn't have a father. Guys, let's go to the right. Guys, 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 look at me. He banim, but he has, he's he's he has banim, but he doesn't have a father. That's a ger. That's a ger. The, 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 the children go after him, right? But, oh, so therefore, this, now can a ger, is a ger kashalaitis or not? He is. So the Gemara is the kasha. If you're going to dash in the first part of the Pasuk to go ahead and be might see what? An Eved, then the latter part of the Pasuk, you have to dash in the same way and be might see a, yeah. a ger. Very gishmak. Alameata, ubanam la yumsu al avais. Why are you going to say Hachanami lo yumsu al pi edis banim she'en lem chiyas avos? You won't die by a child that doesn't have a father, which is a ger. El a ger. How are you going to say el el a ger? Hachanami the pasul edis. Ami hachi hashda. Ger nihi de ain lechiyas lemaila. Good, he doesn't have a go yichas going above to a father, but lemata yesh lechiyas. He has he has what? He has yichas going below. His son is his son. Guys, a, an Eved doesn't have a father, doesn't have a kid. He's the Garnish Maganish. If you're going to say Ger's Puzzle Aidis, Lichtav Rahmana, just let the Torah write, La Yumsli Obis al Benehem, and will Darshan like we like La Yumsli be Aidis Bonim, right? The Nikhta Rahman will Bonim La Yumsu al Avois, the Shmami no, Tre, Chada, La Yumsu Bonim be Aidis Avois. You'll hear that while that. Proivim a pasul edus veidach and the second la yumsu al bonim al pi bonim shein lem chias avos and that's a ger that a person who has sons but doesn't have a father now if if and if a ger is pasul edus the eved nafkleim mikal b'chayim miger umar ger do lemayla who dein chias avol lemata yesh lechias pasul edus eved shein lechias avol avol lemata yesh lechias pasul edus eved shein lechias loy lemayla loy lemata ain't it in she pasul edus. El, what do you have to conclude? May the kasser rachmana la yumsui avos al bonim, and and it doesn't write al benehem. The mashma la yumsui al pi avos shein lem chias bonim. He won't die as a result of a person, the father who has no what, who has no children. The mashma that what la yumsui al pi avos shein lem chias bonim. You won't die as a result of a father who does not miyachas to his son. Shema mina eved shein lem chias le lemayla lemata who the pas leidus avoker. It's very long gemara. Avoker akim in the yesh very wordy right. I will get keeping the Ishla Chias Lamata Kashal Edis. The Chitim writing to say Lichter Rahman Rubana Yusal of Sayem, 
Lamely the Kras Rahman of Banam Layumsu al Avois, the Mashma Layumsu al Pibonim, Mashma Nawat like a ger, Shane Lam Fias Avois, the Kras of Layumsu of his Albonim, I did the Kras, why did you write the latter part of the Pusik? Because I did the Kras of Layumsu of his Albonim, Kras of Nami Uban Layumsu of us. In other words, the original Kasha, why did you go get, get lead us to misconstrue and think that possibly a ger is not? We just, the symmetry of the Torah. But Enochinami, that's the Pusik. So we have Tuli Mudim that what, that, Let's go through the Gemara. We began the Gemara that a um, an Eved, if you hear an Eved Kanani, the Chacham say Yechayven in all five things, including Busha. It says of Yehudi, you parted from Busha. Why are you parted from Busha? Because it says, It says the word Achiv, and the Ger, excuse me, and an Eved does not have Achva. You can't marry into Kal Hashem, he has no Achva. But Abundance says he's your brother in mitzvahs, right? The Gemara, if he's your brother in mitzvahs, then he should part of Aiden. So i says the Gemara there, Beat the Rabbi Kabecha. So the Gemara goes ahead now and says, therefore, you should go ahead and you should be kashal Aiden, because it says, Achiv by Aiden, like the Chachamim. So we said over there, we, we can't possibly say that because we have a Gezer Shava between uh, Eved, we can learn out Eved from, from uh, Patin and Gaznin or Isha and Gaznin, the Pata. Just like their part, you know they can come to Kahal, so to what an Eved is 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 possible Aedis. It says Rabbi um, Amar Maravina, Mar, we want to get the right name, it says um Mar Bray de Ravina, Mar Bray de Ravina says La Yumsu Abisal Bonim. What does that mean? You uh, a father who has no children can't testify. Who's the father has no children? That's a Gary. That's a, that no, that's a yeah, Eved. Yeah. That's an Eved. Yeah. Okay, that's the leave. Okay, that's the leave. Okay. The next piece of Gemara is, is uh, and it's tangential and it's hard. It's tangential and it's hard, but there's a Derech HaKdama. We have a, a, an idea of a person can own a field and if he owns the field, he owns the goof of the Karka and he owns the Paris. He own, owns the Yusufruk. He owns the, 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 the produce that's his. It's possible for a person to go ahead, own the field and sell, sell the rights to the field. So if you go ahead and own the field, you have what's called a Kenyan Hagoth. If you sell the rights to the field, a person is acquired Kenyan Paris. Now the question is, does the, can I sell my field? If I sold the rights to use my field, somebody, and I want to sell the field, can his Kenyan the Paris stop me from selling my field? If it can, it's because Kenyan Paris is Kenyan Hagoth. It's tantamount with Kenyan Hagoth. If however, and therefore I won't be able to sell it. Con conversely, if Kenya Paris love ki Kenya Naguf dummy, is the Kenya Naguf takes precedent, and therefore I could sell the field. A classic example, guys, would be the Nichsei Miloik. A woman comes into a marriage, she brings in property, she never goes ahead and makes her husband the owner of the property. The husband becomes the husband, the husband becomes the he gets the Kenyan Paris, but she retains the Kenya Naguf. Now, if you hold that Kenyan Aperis, Kenyan Aguf dummy, she should be able to sell it. If you hold Kenyan Aperis, Kenyan Aguf, it's Lavka Kenyan Aguf, Lavka Kenyan Aguf, she should be able to sell it. Good? So that, that's the discussion over here. So again, if Kenyan Aperis, Kenyan Aguf, my Kenyan Paris does not allow me, the one who has the Kenyan Aguf, to sell the field. If Kenyan Aperis is Lavka Kenyan Aguf dummy, then that person would be able to what? That person would be able to go ahead and, and, and sell the field. That person would be able to go ahead and, and, and sell the field. Okay, that's the uh, that's derech hakdama. It's again a wordy gemara, and and uh, it, it takes you off a little bit, but we'll be okay. In the at the end, we'll be fine. Says the gemara, cheresh shaitevikatan pigiasin ra. We said in the mishnah that a cheresh shaitevikatan, you meet up with them, it's not a good thing. Why? If they hit you, their potter. If they hit you. Their potter. If you hit them, you chayev. It's a it's a lose lose situation for you. You can't make any money. You can always lose money. We said a, a, an eved and an isha the same thing. However, it's a little different because if the isha gets free, and the, the, the it, meaning she gets divorced, and now she has the property of herself, or the eved gets free and has property, they would have to pay. So by cheresheiv, they're calling their potter. Over there, it's not their potter. They don't pay, but because they can't pay. Okay, we're going to go uh, some way, somehow, this is going to get, co connect back to our Mishnah. But right now, it's all you have to know is Kenyan Aperis, Kenyan Aguf, and Lav Kenyan Aguf, Dami. Ima the Rav Shmuel Bar Abba, Mehagrunya, the mother of Rav Shmuel Bar Abba Mehagrunya, having the Siva Leila Rav Abba. 
she married a person named Rav Abba. Now, don't, according to, there's two ways to learn over here. Let's learn the, the, the common way that this is not Rav Abba's son. She, you know, she's married to two people named Abba. So she had a son from her first marriage named what? Shmuel Bar Abba. And then she married a person, Abba. What she wants to do is she wants to, that her son should retain ownership of her property. Good? She doesn't, she doesn't mind going over to her, her, husband's, her new husband's family. So, she went over and written over her property to Shmuel Bar Abba Bara, Basa de Shiva, while she is, when she dies. So, now, who's using her property now? Abba, her husband. Her husband is using the property, right? Her husband's using the property. So, he has the king in Paris. She writes over to her son that when she dies, right, it should go to who? To her son. Now, if you hold Kenyana Paris is Lavke Kenyana Guftami, she could do it. She could do it. It's not a problem. He has the Kenyan Paris. It's Lavke Kenyana Guf, and therefore she has the right to sell it. But if you hold Kenyana Paris is Kenyana Guftami, then, then she didn't have a right to sell it. She didn't have a right to sell it. So that's going to be the discussion, okay? No, it, no, it, it, does, it doesn't make a difference. She's she, she she sold it. now after she dies. She can't sell it. She right. does, she can't sell it. He owns it. Can you? It's not right. It's not. It's not right. I'm <laughs> saying you know what I'm doing. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, okay. Anyway. <laughs> So Kenya, Kenya Paris is it's Kenya not good if you don't have right to sell it. My Kenya Paris stops you from ownership to sell it. Let's say what would it go to, if she died? Would it go to the husband? What? It would go. It would go to what? It would go if to she died, stop. what? Well, it would. It would go. No, it goes to her husband. It goes to her husband. She's a girl. She's a woman. It goes to, she goes to her husband. Okay, so now. So I'm giving you the little guts behind this, but but again, you're going to see what what transpires. Okay, we're going to see we're going to see what goes on over there. Okay, so now, so Azal Rav Shmuel Bar Abba Kamei the Rav Yirmiya Bar Abba, and Ukmei Benichse Rav Yirmiya Bar Abba. He gave that he gave Rav Shmuel Bar Abba. He gave him the property. He gave him the property. Azal Rav Abba again. Rav Abba the, the husband, right? You, you, you have too many Abbas here for you. Yeah. I know. Rav Abba Amr Lemulse Kameder of Hoshaya, and he said what happened. Azal Rav Hoshaya Amid Kameder of Yehuda, and he went to the great Rav Yehuda, the Talmud. This is Shinana. This is uh, the Rav Yehuda was the Talmud of Rav, and after Rav Petira was the Talmud of Shmuel. Amalei and Rav Shmuel told Rav Hoshaya, Hachi Amas Shmuel, my Rabbi Shmuel, Haisha Shemach Rav Benichsei Miloi Bichai Baila. An isha that sells the nichsei milug in the lifetime of a husband, who mesa and consequently dies, habal might be out of the So therefore, Abba will be able to take it away from Shmuel Bar Abba. Okay, so Rav, Rav Yirmiya Bar Abba gave it over to who to Shmuel, and now Rav Yud is taking it back. Now the easiest way to go ahead and explain this Gemara would that it's a machloikis between. It's a machloikas whether you hold uh, Kenyan Paris or Kenyan Aguftami. If you hold Kenyan Paris is Lavka Kenyan Aguftami, then it, it belongs to Shmuel. It belongs to him because but she had every right to sell it. But if you hold Kenyan Paris Lavka Kenyan Aguftami, you don't have a right to sell it, and therefore it goes resorts to the husband. Okay? That would be the easy way to explain the Gemara. Good? It, again, it's a, underly, it underlies the little bit and gives you a little better understanding of what the Shaila is. When does she win? What what specific example is that she can take ownership after the, the husband dies? The husband dies, so so then then it's husband, yeah. It would be hers anyway. It's not legitimate. Well, yeah, but now she has no one to stop. There's no Kenyan of Paris to stop her. She gets it back to Kenyan Paris. She gets back to Kenyan Paris. Now, okay. Now, Amrua Kamei de Revier Mir Bar Abba. They told Revier Mir Abba, who said that it belongs to Shmuel, not to Abba, right? They told him what happened. And Amru Lahu, I'm not copying his spilus from Shmuel. I have a Mishnah to back me up. And I'm, I'm based upon that Mishnah, I'm giving my psak. 
Now, Shmuel can't argue with a Mishnah. Shmuel is an Amira. Why does the Mishnah say that none? And Baba Basu Dav Kufla Minvav. Hakoisiv Nechosav Libinoi Laachamoisai. So this person who has the Kenyan Aguf and the Kenyan Paris, the father, he goes ahead and says, after I die, it should, he writes it now, Laachamoisai. Now, the this is the son now has the Kenyan Aguf. And the father has the king in Paris. Guys, he's writes it right into his son now, and it's going to be officially, it's going to be his totally after I die. So right now he owns it. He has the king in Aguf, and I'm retaining the king in Paris. Still takes place. Again, he, I'm, I'm, again, exactly. He's, again, the it's he's writing it over to him. But it means no. It's, it's, his, it's his. Look at Rashi. Lachem Waisoi. One more word. What's the word, first word you need, the Rebavi? Second line down. No, no, no. If you're doing that. May hayoy mulacham oisai. May hayoy mulacham oisai. What does may hayoy mean? It, it's from now. Not retroactive. No, it's not, not retroactive. It's from now. You own it now. And it will be totally yours to eat from after I die. You guys, you hear? May hayoy. It's not retroactive. Right now means it's yours in, in, in the vernacular. You have the king in Aguf, and I have the king in Paris. Mm -hmm. I, you have the king in Aguf. I'm, I'm giving it to you now. I'm selling it to you now. And I have the king in Paris. That's, that's exactly what happened. It says Rashi, The Guf is acquired by the son from today. And the father is going to Paris three days. That's the thing. Now, can the son, guys, outside, let's figure this out. Can the son sell it? Why not? It depends. So if the Mishnah would say he could sell it, it would be a riot that what? King of Paris says, love King of Guf Dami. So that's that. That's Rav Yirmiyah's Bar Abba's riot to the Isha. What's the difference between this and the woman who has the Nechsemi Lug, who owns the Guf, and, and the husband has the Paris? What? So he also... The father owns everything, right? Right. And he sells the land. And you can have. You can but right have, now, right now, when she sells the land, right? She right. She doesn't have it. But uh, uh, but there's a far to say that if if you hold, it doesn't make, it really doesn't make a difference. The question is, can the ownership of the payers stop her from selling it? In other words, good the mechanics are different, but the question is, can the own you know okay. once the payers. Once the Paris is in somebody else's rishus, can it stop the girl from being, being transferred? I mean, you're right. You're making a distinction between the two. Guys, how, how are we doing? Guys, we're good? Says the Gemara Vaita. So, one more time. So, Amalu, Anamastisi Adana Tidnan, Hakoisim Nechosim Lebenoi Laachem Waisoi. Someone writes um, his Nechosim to his son after his death, meaning you're going to get the you're going to get it now. Again, Rashi had to explain it because, again, if they're bothered by Rabbi Avi's question, maybe it's only Chal afterwards. Ben can't sell it. You know why? Right? So in other words, they can't sell it. Good? One, because I don't have ownership totally. You have the Paris, I don't have the Guf. Now, if the father sells it, the right of the Paris to somebody else, they're sold until what? Until the father dies. Once the father dies, what happens to the Paris? Who do they go to? The son. Good. And now here's what we need. Machar ha ben. That if not the ben sell, he sold the guf. So ein loy loy keach at sheyomas saav. The ein loy loy keach at sheyomas saav. Good. What happens when the father dies then? Ki maya saav mia is loy loy keach. Yeah? So what do you see? L'chayra kinyan ha-peris is lafka kinyan ha-guf, or else the sale should not go through at all. Now, when it says the sale goes through, the afagav demes ha-ben b'chayi av, v'layosi l'day ben no difference whether the, the death of the son preceded the father or not. Even if the son died before the father, where the, in other words, where it never went back, that the kinyan ha-peris never went back to the son, Right? And, and, and now we extend. In other words, 
So uh, guys, outside, outside, and then we'll we'll we're gonna again. It's a very wordy Gemara. If you hold, and and this is what Yemi says, I have a mission that says a son who has a Kenyan ag aguf because the father gave it to him, sold it to him. He doesn't have a Kenyan payrus because the father has odds on him. If he makes a sale, the sale is going to work, regardless of the, if if the payrus ever comes to him or don't come to him. The payers come to him if the father dies. If the, he die, if he dies before, he, the payers don't come to him. It's still a good sale. So you see that Kenyan payers that the father has is Lavka Kenyan Aguf, and it's a good sale. So Mamela said, Rav Yemia, I have this Mishnah, and therefore I can give the the the, the chasm of this woman to Shmuel Baraba, no problem. Now, now just we're going to fear ice the Machloikis where the Kenyan payers is Kenyan Aguf Nami. Says the Gemara, and, and the Gemara now says, Ki, Rabbi, uh, Shimon ben Lakish, like Shimon ben Lakish. It doesn't make a difference whether the, the son died first. It doesn't make a difference if the father died, died first. No difference whatsoever. Right? The is kinda. How do you know that? It mar. says where the son didn't die. So therefore the son had the Pekinian Paris also. Guys, let's just guys, guys, the pitch, listen to the pitch, listen to this pitch. You know why the sale Rabbi Yachin learns Pshat in that Mishnah? He learns Pshat in that Mishnah that. What does it mean that the sale goes through? It means that the son, father died before the son. So therefore, the son had the Paris also, and therefore the sale goes through. He had the Kenyan Aguf he had in the, in the lifetime of the father, and he got the Kenyan Paris in the death of the father. So therefore, the sale goes through. But uh, but if the son would precede it, and he never got the Kenyan Paris, the sale would not go through. Because Rabbi Yochan is of the opinion that Kenyan Paris is the Kenyan Aguf, and, and the father's ownership of the Paris would impede the sale. Uh, so, that, so, so that's what we're, that's what we're saying right now. So, and when he's selling it, it's not his. However, either way. And since Kenyan Paris, the father's rights to the Paris is Lavka Kenyan Aguf, therefore the son, when he sold it, is selling his own because the Paris, so therefore it doesn't make a difference that we never got the Paris. As long as he had the Kenyan Aguf, that's the main thing. I think it's Clark. It's very wordy, but it's a Clark. Now, with this in mind, guys, this is this is unbelievable. Machlaikis Reb Yochanan and Reish Lakish, who's the Allah alike? Reb Yochanan. Guys, Reb Yochanan is the Allah, I feel we can get robbed. Reb Yochanan is the, he's the cleanup hitter of all Amarayan. However, there are three places where the Allah is like Reish Lakish. Guess what? This is one of them. Guys, this is one of them, right? So now, can Rev Yehuda argue? It makes no sense to say no. Could Rev Yehuda agree with Rev Yochanan Kenegar Shlakish in this halacha? Mistama not. Because again, if this is one of the big three, it must be everyone holds like that. So we got a problem. Why did Rev Yehuda give the field to Abba? If he holds Kenyan at Paris, is Lavki Kenyan at if she stayed with the son? Because the, the woman had the Kenyan at and therefore she had a right to sell it. So Bishlem a Yemi of Araba, it's Geshmak. He's got this mission in Baba Basra. Kenyan Paris Lavka Kenyan Aguf, because it doesn't make a difference even if the son predeceased the father, right? It's Geshmak as anything. Well, we got Pamu Rabbi Yehuda. How does Rabbi Yehuda reconcile this Pesach with this Mishnah? Yeah, I think he's set up, right? Very long set up. Anyway, Vanan Hashta, Bain Rabbi Yemi, Bain Baraba, who says that what? That the Shmuel gets it. Ubain Rav Yehudu says it goes back to what? To the, the husband. 
they hold like with Shimon Lakish, because this is one of the three places, guys. Rashi says this. Look at Rashi, guys. Kereish Lakish feel like the Paskin and Hilchas of Kereish Lakish betilsa in three places. Chod the Hall, the Chodes and Mubaris, and the other ones are Matana beEmsa and Perka Chodes. So now, so you have, so we have a problem. The Kamer of Yirmiyah by Rabba, Isak the Daita of King and Paris is the King and Aguf Dami. He mays av umayis haben bechaya av amay isle lekeach he kozavin alav di de kozavin alav shmuel kinyan peiros is lavka kinyan akuf tami. Who's in, who's stuck now, guys? Who's stuck? Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda stuck. Good. Now, so Adru will come the Rabbi Yehuda. They brought this back to Rabbi Yehuda. Now he holds kinyan peiros is lavka kinyan akuf tami. So you know what he's going to say? It's different in this Mishnah. It's different in this Mishnah. Right. Guys, is there a difference to follow me? Outside, outside, outside. This is outside, outside. this will help you. What's the Mishnah? A father writes it to his son, correct? Father writes it to his son. Let's say it would be a case of a son writing to a father. Now, a son writing to a father... Clearly, will be a, a, that what that the father doesn't get get it until the son dies. That case will be a case of Kenyan Paris is lavka Kenyan If the if the father would sell it in the lifetime of the son, over here when the father sells it to a son, there's this other far to say. Well, why would he have to go ahead father sell it to a son after he dies? Exactly, exactly. So <laughs> over here he wants to make sure that this son gets it. So in other words, it, it, it could be that Kenya Paris is kicking in a guftami. And really, you wouldn't be able to sell it normally. You know why in this case the sale will be a sale? Because obviously the father wanted to give more to the son because the inevitable was the son was going to get it anyway. What was the father hoping to do when he, when he sold it to him? It must be to go ahead and be and and and, and give him a, an upper hand. Let's see Rashi, how Rashi explains this, guys. He want he wanted him to get it versus other 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 brothers. He wanted him to get it. Look at look at Rashi. Says Rashi. Elulav shma mina, lav kikinyan aguf dami. And the next Rashi. A koisim chasul aviv. Lachem moisoi. If someone would write his the field to his father after he dies, lachem moisoi. Umachur av bechayeben. This is the opposite case, guys. Our case is the father selling to his son. This is the case of the son selling to the father. Umesa av bechayeben, and the father dies. So the son has the king in Paris. And that, that's you would hear. If the father predeceded, you'd hear that the king, and, and the sale goes through, it must be because king in Paris is lavka king in aguf. that you're telling me it's the father giving it to the son. Dilma, Even though it never came to the son, Mishum the royal Yarshahu, because the son is royal the Irish. The Afagav the Baalma Kinyan Aguf Dami. And even though all over Kinyan Paris is Kikinyan Aguf, and the sale won't be a sale, Hacha Gufa Vade Akni Avla Ben Bechayev. Over here, Vade the father is Makna the field to his son in his lifetime. Lemoichron Kashir Tseh. The Mishum La Achamisa, Belab Hu Hachi Avis Yarle. Without the sale, he also would have gone ahead and inherited it. Al Reb Shmuel Baraba, Le Hoya Royal Yarsha Simoi. El Rev Abba, Baila, Hoya Royal Yarsha. Outside, guys. Outside. Outside. Look, look. Outside. We're set up for a kasha. After a long-winded Gemara, we proved one thing from a Mishnah in Mat in, in, in Baba Basra, that Kenyan HaPeris is Lavki Kenyan HaGuf Dami, and therefore the one who has the Kenyan HaGuf can sell the property. Therefore, Kasha Nebuhu, the, why, the woman who owns the property, why can't she go ahead and give it to her son? That's the kasha. That's the kasha. So, Rabbi Huda says, I agree, Kenyan of Paris is Lavka Kenyan of Guftami. And if the Mishnah would have told me the other the reverse, a son sold it to the father, and then the father sells it, I would know for sure the Kenyan that the son has in the Paris does not go ahead and stop the father from selling it. I'd hear there clearly Kenyan of Paris is Lavka Kenyan of Guftami. What happened over here? What happened is the father sold it to his son after he died. The father retained the Paris, he had the Kenyan of Guftami. Maybe really Kenyan Paris is kick Kenyan Aguftami. And normally someone who has the Kenyan Aguf cannot sell it. In this case, since the father sold it to the son, obviously he wanted his son to have it. The son would have it anyway. If the father died, he'd have it anyway. What's he gaining by selling it to him? 
He's been meyapa kocha. He's saying, "I'm making the whole thing to you, not just the pay. I'm making the whole kit and caboodle." And therefore, the sale is a sale. So you have no riot from this mission that Kenyan appearance is is lavki Kenyan aguf. The mission could be speaking Kenyan appearance is Kenyan aguf, despite the sale going through, even though it's special din because the, he's, he's giving him something that he would get anyway. And but really, Kenyan appearance is Kenyan aguf nami. So what does this do now? So therefore, you don't have a Mishnah. You, Rav Yirmi, you said you have a Mishnah to back you up. I review to say, guess what? That Mishnah is no raya. That Mishnah can be speaking King and Paris and King and I go. That's it. Beautiful. I mean, that, that's, the, that, that's, the, that's the whole kit and kaboodle, yeah? Okay. Let's, let's see it inside. I just I pre, pre-upped you. So now we're up to the lo- one line before it gets wide. They brought this back in front of Yehuda. That if Kenya and Paris love Kenya and Guf, so why can't the mother of Shmuel Bar Abba give him the field? This is not this case of what the this case of the mother giving to Shmuel is not comparable to the father giving it to the son. My time. That's what Shmuel said. Now Rabbi, y- Rabbi Yosef is coming to explain it, and I explained it to you. My time. Why is it not doima? I'm Rabbi Yosef. Bishle me tani ipcha. If you would have told me the opposite. The son would sell it to the father, and then the father sells the field, and the sale goes through. It's because Kenyan Paris is Lavka Kenyan Aguf Dami. Then I'd be able to miss him in the Kenyan Paris Lavka Kenyan Dami. That he, he went ahead and he sold, he sold it to the son. The reason why the son sells is, is, is a good sale. It's not because Kenyan Paris is Kenyan Aguf Dami. It's Mishum the royal Yashahu. He's right to Yarish him, and therefore he wanted to give him the right to sell it. Good. Amalei Abaya, Atu Bro Yoris Abba, Abba Wa Yoris Bro. Guess what? It works two ways. The, it, why would the son, if you're telling me it's not a raya and the son would sell it, it is a raya. The son would sell the father inherits the son. Now, obviously, it's speaking, fellas. If the son is selling selling to his father, it must be the son wants to avoid something. He wants to avoid going to his kids. It must be the son has kids, right? Uh, so, in other words, it won't go to the father. What do you want to do by selling it to the father to avoid that his sons will get it? The reason why the father sold it to the son is not to give him a special koyach, but Okay, so therefore, what? It is. So therefore, Kenyan Paris is not Kenyan Aguf. So therefore, the Mishnah is. So therefore, it should be an, an analogy to the case of the woman. You know, we're back to the Kasha of Yehuda, right? Beautiful. Ella ma ani doimel mishta sein. What do you mean? It's not similar. Mishum takana susha. It's because of the takana of usha. Usha one was one of the places that after Gullis, after the Quran bias, they were they were in usha. Takana susha. We had many takana susha. What was the takana susha? The Amr of Yosi bar Chenina. Be usha eskino in usha they were metakin. Ha'isha shemachra minichse miloi dechayi baila umesa habal umesa she dies habal moitzi mi anal kuchis. The ball can take from the course. Guys, guys, outside, we're going to finish up. Kenya Paris is Kenya Nagos, or Lavka Kenya Nagos? Lav. Everyone holds that, right? Good. Should a woman be able to go ahead and sell her the chasen? Absolutely. She should be able to. In in in, in Usha, they were attacking that you can't. So, Manela, you have a Mishnah in Baba Basra that proves Kenya Paris is Lavka Kenya Nagos. That's great. But you know why this woman can't give it to Shmuel, her son? Because vis-a-vis her husband, Shmuel is a loikeach. And in, in Usha, they were attacking that an Isha b'chayi baila cannot sell it. Look at the last Rashi on the page. Usha hiskinu, the alpha gav de ba'alma, lav kikinyan aguf dami, even though ba'alma, all over it's lav kikinyan aguf, like we saw in the Mishnah, in Baba Basra, Baal b'nechse ishtoi, alumer rabban l'shibudei, Rabbana made his sheep is so strong, Mishim Eva, because of hatred. And there these things like the first like And therefore, so therefore, in, in, in answer to the question that why Rabbi Huda disagreed, that even though using the Allah of Kinya Paris, Lavka, Kinya Guftami, in fact, she should be able to sell it to a son, Asta Takana Usha, you couldn't. And therefore it's not similar to the Mishnah in Baba Basra.